it's sunny today. Let's go outside. Yes, but let's learn some new objects first. Uh, all right. What do you want me to learn? Uh, thank you for your enthusiasm. So, let's start. Show me the banana. Nice joke. I don't know what a banana is. This is the banana. I will try to remember the banana. To the left of the banana is the box. Are you kidding me? There is no object left to the banana. Oh, sorry mate. The box is right to the banana. Okay, got it bro. Now let's make it a bit more difficult for you. First, show me the box, then point to the banana. Right of the box is the cup. Okay, got the cup. Before pointing to the cup, show me the box. Nice job, bro. That was easy. Now, let's go outside. For this demonstration, three projects were integrated. We apply scene understanding techniques to extract the objects of interest captured by an RGBD device. The objects are then rotated in several orientations to provide more samples to train our convolutional neural network. This neural network applies convolutions to these inputs to obtain a layer of feature maps. A max pooling layer is used to get scale invariant features. Finally, the features obtained are provided as input to a classifier. To the left of the cup is the box. We use Google's speech recognition system to produce text hypotheses. The 10 best results from Google are transformed to phoneme sequence by a grapheme to phoneme converter. We also provide a list of sentences we can expect in our scenario. Those are also transformed to phoneme sequences. Now we use the Levenstein distance to calculate the similarities between speech hypotheses and expectable sentences. We do this for all combinations of hypotheses and expectable sentences. The best matching hypothesis is the last one. To the left of the cup is the box. The post-processing system is called DOCS and is available on our website. For the syntactic interpretation of the sentence, we use an artificial recurrent neural network. This neural network was taught to link the structure of sentences with the structure of their meanings. Here is an example of how training phase works. The pattern of the incoming words is encoded in the dynamics of the recurrent network. Then for each sentence, we modify the output weights to link each semantic word to its role in the sentence. Here is an example of how the activity of neurons looks like when interpreting a sentence. The syntactic interpretation system is available on our website. Amanhã, aprenderemos português. Oh man, 